Today we'll be taking a look at the shopping campaign analysis from Optimizer. That can be found in the interface under Insights and Shopping Analysis. And the shopping campaign analysis is a great way to aggregate your data by metrics in your Google Ads account and also attributes in your feed. It's not limited by your campaign structure and also works for manual and, sh and smart shopping campaigns. The first thing that you're going to want to do is pick the campaign or campaigns that you want to analyze. Make sure that your feed is resynced, and then you can aggregate the data by up to two levels. You can see the different metrics and attributes that are available. For today's example, we'll be taking a look at price. And you'll see the different price points that we have, the number of products in the price point. We've got between zero and twelve dollars, we've got 128 products. And then to the right, you can see the different data associated with those price points. And that data can be easily customized based on the data set that you want to see. The filters above, we've got the default at show all, but you can easily change that to return on ad spend greater than or less than 100%. If you do want to customize it, just click the show filters and customize it based on what you want to see, and I'm just going to change the return on ad spend from 0 to 15. Apply that filter. By the way, you can save that for yourself or your team. And then what we'll see are the different price points that have the highest return on ad spend. The last part of the shopping campaign analysis is the show data visualization. What we're going to do is look at the attribute that we've picked, in this case price, and we're going to compare it against another piece of data, which in this case is conversions. So we're going to look at the different price points with the highest conversions, and if you hover over the graph bar, you can see exactly the data that is involved in that price point, and then easily change that to uh, from best performers to underperformers and then you'll see the different price points that have a lower return on ad spend, or in this case, zero return on ad spend. So hopefully the shop, shopping campaign analysis will help you understand your data a little better and give you some valuable insights.